okay? So let's talk about our company journey. So here's what I want you to understand about Keller Williams. So that's, by the way, breathe, okay? That's where you sit today, okay? That is the state of your industry. And that battle is really clear. And that's, that's either you're gonna be the agent who is tech enabled, or you're gonna be the agent who enables tech. And you're gonna decide based on who you give your data to, okay? So, in 83, we formed Keller Williams. In 87, we were massively disrupted and we had to totally pivot and we recreated the company and KWI was born. What we created literally changed the industry. We asked real estate agents to do things others didn't or wouldn't do. We forged a new relationship between the company and our associates, right? So you had dependent, you had independent. Keller Williams showed up and said, hold it just a second we could have interdependent. And we forged a new relationship. And by the way, as a result of that, right? So let's look real quick at that journey. So the first thing we wanted to do was we wanted to share the money. And so we created profit sharing. And in order for that to happen, it required that we had to build the software, we had to get it right. We, you had to agree to then go tell our story. And then you had to trust us that we would do, keep running this. And that's how it got started. And then what happened was, we literally had a group of agents come to me and say, well, what happens if you die, right? And literally, and I, I remember going home to my wife and going, they care if I die, I've never had that happen before. And so by the way, to, so to protect the program, we created the Agent Leadership Council, we assigned decisions, and we assigned profit sharing to the, the National Council. You do understand that today, you can't change profit share, and Keller Williams Realty International cannot change profit share without both of us agreeing. It's called limited democracy. We had to form it, you had to serve on it, and we have to trust it, right? Number three, we looked up and said, well, well the agents said, well, what happens if you, if you cook the books? How do we know you're telling the truth? So in order to have transparency, we had to create the more system. We had to build the software, we had to create the green sheet, right, this point of data entry, and then you had to give the data, and you had to trust what we did with your data. How'd that work out? You betcha. Okay. Next one was, we looked up and said, hold it, we're, we're, you're, we're gonna open the books, you're gonna make decisions, and then those decisions are gonna affect the amount of money we can share. We better get on to education, A, so you can sell more real estate, and B, you can make better decisions when we open the books and you get to make decisions. So we formed KWU, KW Maps Coaching, Mega Camp Family Reunion. We had to create it, we had to deliver it, you had to buy into it. You had to agree to share your insights and experiences. You had to agree to teach as well as us. We had to coach. Everything here is interdependent. Yeah. Keller Williams had to build something and the agents had to do something to get In order the mutual to make, benefit. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, that's right. And then came culture. In the end, we have to protect all of this, right? Interesting thing about why for C2Ts, you may know the history on that, but what happened was, we went out and started expanding across the state of Texas, and every day I was in a different city, right? So if it was Tuesday, I was in San Antonio, right? If I was in San Antonio, I knew it was Tuesday, okay? And that's what my life was like. I literally was running these offices one day a week, even though we had leadership and all that. Finally, I, I wore out, I couldn't do it. I came home and said, my work's done. They were all profitable. A year later, they were all unprofitable going out of business. And I, I actually did a couple of things, but one of the things I did was I actually asked Gary Gentry, Althea Osborne, where is Althea? I saw her a little while ago. Althea, yep. And I, and I asked uh, Sharon Gibbons, our first employee. So our first agent, our first employee, and one of our first 13 agents, Althea. I invited him into a room at, at, a, at a lawyer's office, and I said, tell me why you like this company. Tell me why you like it. And I wrote down everything they said. And then as they went home, we came back the next day, and I'd organized those into categories. And I had sheets of paper, and each sheet of paper ultimately ended up representing one of those letters. And that's how the culture was built. It wasn't something we invented, it's something that we acknowledged and we identified so that we can continue to do it. Does that make sense? And that's what we did, right? Now, what did you accomplish? Well, this is interesting, isn't it? That journey led to the largest real estate sales force in the world, number one in sales volume and units in the United States. Number one, one billion in counting and profit sharing paid. Yeah. In other words, folks, we're on all cylinders today. Look at the numbers. Over 200 million in owner profits created in 2017 alone. 
What's the next number? Eight what? Billion. How much? Eight billion dollars in agent income in 2017 alone. There's some numbers for you. Woo. All right, Steve, hold me to this. But more real estate offices and real estate agents in real trends. Yes. Yep, he's shaking his head. Yes. And the Wall Street Journal. Number one training company in the world, Diana. And here's some, and here's, and here's some things you may not know. Number one happiest place to work in America. Num yeah, number two is Nike. Top 13 top place to work in America. Ahead of people that were on that top five uh, most valuable companies. Ahead of them. And, num and last one, which is interesting, is you've been taught for over a decade at, at Stanford and Harvard. Okay? Uh, Remax is not. Cobalt Banker is not. EXP is not, by the way. Compass is not. You are. Okay? And let me tell you, well, hang on. Let me tell you why. The reason you're taught is, the reason why you are taught is for one simple reason. Because you agreed to profit share. So here's the thing, you guys. I'm going to ask you a question. We took our relationship, pushed the industry, right? So you literally have the agent is a salesperson. Keller Williams came into the industry, and what did we do? We said, no, the agent is a business person. I think we actually wrote a book about that. I'm not sure, right? Then we turned around and said, whoa, 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 in that book. We said, you're not only a business person, you, it, it's a, you, you could have a mega business. It could be a legitimate, legitimate business like any other business on the planet, okay? Number three, in the last couple of years, we put forth the idea, and it was Keller Williams that put forth this idea that the agent mega business is an expandable business. So I want you to look at those three cir circles. That's you. That's what you represent to the entire industry, okay? This is what you did. By the way, we'll talk in a second what we're fixing to do with the consumer, right? The question is, who's going to decide, who's going to define the ultimate consumer experience? Who are you going to let define that? Our pitch is that you should allow yourself to do it, right? So we're there again. We have to change right now. If you want to remain as the fiduciary to the real estate buyer and seller, right? KW invested all of its time and money supporting the agent building business. Together, we powered through the business agent era. We did. That era, by the way, isn't going away. It lives, but we have another era to add on top of it. Today, we have to partner again in a completely new way. We're going to have to lock arms, team up again, power through the fourth industrial revolution by creating the most powerful proprietary real estate database on the planet and consumer experience. We're going to have to do that. Okay. Now, we dis disrupted the real estate industry through profit share. Right? When you, uh, what was it two years ago, the rheology report that was written? And the only real estate company that was mentioned in there was Keller Williams, that you were the biggest threat to rheology and you were called out as a company. Folks, you did change the industry in, a, in an amazing way, right? Today, you're gonna have to disrupt it again, right? We're gonna have to go from a profit share relationship to an additionally, we're gonna have to win the data share war. You with me?